and, and I think for the Series A stage, however, they place a lot of reliance on the traction. So, you know, traction is very, very important for them. Two reasons. One, now they understand that the product is already in place. Okay. Uh, they know that the technology to some extent has already been, uh, you know, worked upon you know, the beta model or the working model, I would say, is already uh, there. Now you're just building upon or, you know, sort of improving the technology as such. I think then they place a lot of heavy reliance on the numbers. What are the gross margins? What is the unit economics like? What is the revenue currently? What is the total, uh, you know, possible revenue in times to come? Maybe because they are not investing in your past. They're not investing in your present, but they're actually investing in your future. So I think that's very, very important for them to envisage and understand and, you know, uh, study. And what is also equally important is they look at market size quite a lot. So for a series A investor, you know, as institutional investors, they want, you know, one of the uh, home runs, you know, while they're investing. So of course, you know, if I'm a series A investor, institutional investor, I would want to out of my 10 opportunities, I know that I need a home run. So each of my opportunities that I invest in should be a home run, you know, and that's how I think as a series A investor. So I think that's very important for them. And they place a heavy reliance on the traction numbers. And of course, you know, team consistently stays, you know, topmost priority for anyone who may want to invest at a you know, seed stage versus a series A or a series B, because uh, uh, they know end of day, you know, it's, it's, it's only the team or the executionary operational team at the ground, you know, which is going to be able to uh, replicate the model to where it should be. And, and I think that's, that they place a lot of reliance on that. Apart from this, I guess, you know, competitive landscape is very important because investors look at it, you know, not just from, uh, of course, they do look at home runs, but they also practically look at it, you know, that if we are able to scale the startup, you know, the founders are able to scale the startup to some scale basis, their expertise, you know, they should be able to find some exit opportunity. So as institutional investors, I need to, because I'm running a fund, I need to identify, okay, what could be the possible exit avenues for this particular startup that I'm investing in, maybe a acquisition, maybe an acquisition or, a, you know, next raise or some strategic investor coming in, you know, buying the product, buying the entire solution, buying the entire startup you know, all of these possible uh, exit avenues are, are something that they place a lot of reliance on. And of course, valuation. So I, I think valuations uh, is something we can speak about in detail, but I think uh, valuation is something uh, series A investors, as long as they are happy with the product solution team timing and uh, you know, the overall scalability of the model, I think that's something uh, which is quite negotiable.